I'm just a book review of um, the book of why. It's an amazing read. It's a book written by Jude Appel and um, and Dana McKenzie, and it's a book on causality. And this is such a very informative and insightful um, literature. So I've read this book from beginning to the end, and I've learned so much. And this is just a quick review of the book of why. Um, so generally, with well, the book of why, one of the key things I learned was that the three levels of cognitive ability there's seeing there's doing there's imagining so seeing is the first level doing is the next level and imagining is like the topmost level of of our cognitive ability and then one good thing about it is this diagram was used to sort of explain what those three levels are so with the what with the, with the seeing is association so basically looking at correlation example the cock crew and 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 the and and dawn your your correlate there's a correlation between a cock crew and dawn so you're looking at that um, association but the next level is intervention this is where you want to we want to understand causality and see what, how one a causes b how um c and e which is cause and effect so looking at trying to understand the um the intervention example what's what would make the, the 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 day done and it's not it's not cock crow cock crow is just a correlation so you want to understand causality and then the other one is counterfactuals so counterfactuals are looking at the the what if analysis what if there was no cock crow would we still have um um, done or would we would you say have done so you know understanding counterfactuals counterfactuals are amazing it's just the what if analysis so this is like the pillar of of the book itself understanding these three dimensions of human cognitive ability so it's such an amazing um, amazing framework which is which is basically you see what if i see is association what if i do is intervention and what what if i had done is counterfactual Yes, it's amazing. And then one thing I also learned to say is that without representation, we wouldn't really know how to store information for future use. So uh, um, cognitively, our brain is, is has us like a semantic network. We need to have a representation. It's kind of like a graph, so to speak. So you see someone's, I mean, say, say uh, let's example, your, you, you love chemistry, for example. You want to connect the dots to chemistry, for example. You want to connect your lecturer, your uni, your friends, your, your lab. So that, that, that whole network of things, that whole graphical representation of things helps you understand chemistry and helps you store information about chemistry better. And then when it comes to memory recall, that representation is so key to how well you rec recall the memory. And then also with the book, he also says um, with, with causal analysis, he helps us quantify the process in the real world, not just the patterns in the data. So basically you can see a data of, let's say, um, with politics, for example, election, and, and let's example, you have more people that, um, more people vote in, 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 a rich, in rich neighborhoods and then in the poorer neighborhoods, you have fewer people that cast their votes during during a say prime ministerial or presidential election. And that data it almost tells you, well, if you have more rich people in the neighborhood, you should expect more votes, more um, um, less rich, less rich people, less votes. So you just look at the pattern, it helps you to understand um the cause of, I mean the real world so what would cause what would make that happen? Is it because of lack of education, is it a lack of access and access to um a polling station. Do we have more polling stations or, or voting stations in richer neighborhoods than poorer neighborhoods? So it helps you dig deep and helps you understand the real world situation. So that's amazing. And it says um, Google, the world is full of so much data. But the question we always ask is a simple example. Like let's say you're walking past, you walk past a store, and the, the, the glass door is, is cracked, it's broken. And you ask yourself a question. There's so many assumptions that could jump into your mind is like where was this a result of football where kids playing football and and that led to the to the crack of the door or was was there as a result of burglary and and so those questions would come into your mind that why would uh, why would you have a cracked or a broken um door to a store or was it down to the poor quality of of, of the glass itself so so all these answer, assumptions are very very important um important when it comes to understanding would the cause behind data or the or the reason or, or, or the reason behind why certain things happen in life so finally i think he also said um there's so many things from this but these are just some of the key points he says um so when it comes to our beliefs we all have beliefs well we, we we are we can't we, as humans we are made of our beliefs and and we make our 
assumptions, hypotheses, and make our our representation of the world is is powered by our beliefs. So, example, going back to the broken door um, situation. So you're walking past the store and it's the door the door is cracked and broken, and then and, and then the beliefs. I, you could you may have grown up in an area where there was so much burglary, there's so much theft and risk, and then the first thing that comes to your mind is well, someone was trying to break into the store. That's that's your belief, and that's that that informs your prob the probability of of, of 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 a break in leading to that for you is higher but for me i might have grown grown up in an area where kids play football like crazy and i might say oh might be just a child playing football and probably accidentally or or maybe mischievously kick the ball and, and, and crack the door so that's so i have a higher probability of that occurring so our beliefs help helps us sort of um kind of almost like predict or um, 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 have an hypothesis when it comes to causality. So that's very key. So we are not, we can't get rid of our beliefs. Our beliefs helps us because our beliefs help, 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 helps us make quick judgments. Also helps us, um, sort of almost helps us when it comes to making um, decisions as well. That's so important. And then that's just generally a few bits about the book, but it's an amazing read. I mean, I, I just couldn't pinpoint there is a, there's a lot more I can I can present from this book, but I just wanted to keep it simple. But I recommend this book to you, the Book of Causality by Judy Appel. It's it's um this is an easier read. The previous edition has so much mathematical formulas and, and algorithms. So if you're someone that your grasp of mathematics is, is not that strong, then I would say you could you can go for this. This app applies this to any environment into like um epistemology, into statistics, into sociology. Causality is a key aspect of our world and we need to embrace that. So thank you so much for listening to this book review and I hope you've um, learned a few things about causality and this sort of ideology will form a key aspect of my channel. My channel will now look at how people make decisions when it comes to real estate, when how people make decisions when it comes to buying, um, when it comes to key things in their life and how representation helps us in making decisions and also causality as well. So this is a semantic geek. I love understanding semantic networks and how that helps us make things like decisions, make um, help us classify things and categorize things. And um, so yeah, just higher cognitive abilities. So it's a deep channel where we don't discuss things by using frameworks to analyze real estate, analyze maybe stock prices and, and investment down the road. But, but this is just a good foundation for this channel. Thank you very much, and, uh, um, and I hope you get to read this book at some point.